Hello viewers, in this video, we will learn about better version of MACD indicator. The STC. STC stands for SCUF Trend Cycle. STC indicator is a technical indicator that allows investors to predict the market trend. Since it identifies the current and the possible future trends, investors can use the data provided by the SCUF and Trend Cycle indicator for ideal buy and sell signals. STC's unique combination of trend and momentum detection makes it best suited for trend followers taking advantage of short-term pullbacks. The idea behind the STC indicator is the assumption that market trends increase or decrease in cyclical patterns, irrespective of the time frame. The STC indicator is a combination of the MACD and the stochastic. The STC indicator is one of the most effective ways to let investors know about the market trend, overbought and oversold conditions, buying and selling positions, and ideal entry and exit points. The STC indicator uses two thresholds of 25 and 75 levels. If the STC indicator crosses the first threshold of 25, it generally indicates that the market is in an uptrend. However, if the STC indicator has breached the 75 level, it generally indicates the strengthening of the trend in either of the two directions, high or low. And also take a note about, when the STC indicator's straight line is above 75, it is a signal for an overbought condition. On the other hand, if the straight line is below 25, it signals oversold stocks. When the STC crosses above the 25 line, the market could be exiting oversold conditions. And when it crosses below the 75 line, it could be exiting overbought conditions. The STC basically developed to improve the existing MACD to identify market trends. STC is more accurate than the MACD. And it also helps in representing forthcoming price movements quicker than the MACD. MACD is used to forecast price action and is notorious for lagging due to its slow responsive signal line. By contrast, STC's signal line enables it to detect trends sooner. In fact, it typically identifies up and down trends long before MACD indicator. The strategy of this indicator is quite simple. The indicator seeks to identify trends that happen in a cycle. Let's see how this indicator works. Trend cycle is bounded between 0 and 100. When it surpasses 25, a bullish signal is given and when it breaks 75, a bearish signal is given. There are two thresholds present, 25 and 75. When the indicator crosses above the 25 lines, an uptrend is observed. When the indicator crosses below the 75 lines, a downtrend begins. Once the indicator is between the 25 and the 75 lines, that means the trend is developing in one of the two directions. And, if the indicator turns into a straight line, that only occurs in its uppermost and lowermost points. The asset is either overbought when it is above the 75 lines and below 25 is oversold. Let's check this strategy in trading market. But before going forward don't forget to hit like button and subscribe to our channel for more knowledgeable videos like this. Now look at this chart, by signal is generated whenever the STC surpasses the 25 line, thus confirming the bullish trend, and sell signal is generated whenever the STC breaks the 75 line, thus confirming the bearish trend. But you really believe that it's thus easy, to trade with the help of one indicator and without knowing the trade of market. As I always say trading against the trade is very risky. So to know the trade of market we will add 200 EMA, along with STC so we can get buy and sell signals more clear. As you can see we have a 200 EMA, with STC indicator, now let's watch for buy setups, for buy signal we should watch out for two conditions, first, price should be above the 200 EMA, and second, STC should start at its journey above to 25 level. So at this candle, we should take by trade as STC line turns green and price started its journey to the upwards. 
and you can put a stop loss at a low of your entry candle and profit target would be two times of your stop loss. Let's see what happens to our trade. As you can see our trade comes to an end being profitable, so if you had bought here you could had generated good profit. Now let's watch out for sell setups, for sell signals, we look out for two conditions, first, price should be below to the 200 EMA, and second, STC started its downward journey from 75 level, so at this candle, we will take sell trade by putting a stop loss at a high of your entry candle and profit target would be two times of your stop loss. So as you can see our trade comes to an end being profitable. Let's look out for more examples of buy and sell trade, and let's check it out, how STC gives early signals then MACD. Now look at this chart, as you can see we have placed STC and MACD indicator together. Now look for buy signal, as we can see price started its journey to the upward direction, and crossing 200 EMA. So, we become alert for buy trade, now look at this point STC started its upward journey, little bit early than MACD. Which you can see at this point. So, for buy setup we will buy at this candle as it conforms by three indicators, EMA, MACD, and STC, by putting stop loss at a low of our entry candle and profit target would be two times of our stop loss, as you can see our profitable trade comes to an end. Now let's watch out for sell signals, for sell setup look at this point, as STC given us early signal for down trade then MACD, and you can see MACD had given downward signal at this point, which is pretty late signal specially if you are day trader, because as a trader early notifications of trade change will help you to make your trade more profitable. So, we will take sell trade at this candle, by putting a stop loss of a high of your entry candle and profit target would be two times of your stop loss, so, as you can see your profitable trade comes to an end. Friends, I hope you got a good knowledge of STC indicator, and how to use it correctly in trading market, so if you like the video just press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more knowledgeable videos like this.